Today, we are going to take a look at the difference between Google Bard and ChatGPT4. And you'll see which one today is currently better. And then you'll see which one you can use depending on your use case. So if you want to figure out which one is the best, be sure to stay tuned till the very end. So first test is let's start off with something very simple and basic. And according to Google's recent updates, apparently Palm 2 is supposedly upgraded version for Google Bard. So it's slightly better than the previous versions, which many people weren't a fan. So let's start off with the first question. And that is, what is today's date? I'll go ahead and press enter here. And then we'll go over to GPT-4. What is today's date? And go here and let's go ahead and test this out. So far, it is showcasing the date, which is currently today. And one thing I did notice, which is different, is on Google Bard, I can press enter and it right away submits it. On ChatGPT, you notice that it actually had a line under it and then I had to go over here and click on the little arrow. So in terms of user experience, again, that's not too important unless you're trying to add additional paragraphs, but that is just one thing I've noticed right away. Now let's move on to something that is a lot more complicated. And the first test that we're gonna do is multi-language coding. Now, what does that even mean? Well, in their example, they showcase that they can include in Google Bard particularly different languages in comments on code. So what we're gonna say is write a simple code block in English and then write comments explaining each line in and let's just do Japanese. And let me actually paste this here first. I'll press enter, submits that, paste this here, click on the arrow, and let's go ahead and see how these two combine together and compete with each other. So far, we can see that Google Bard sent in a super simple block almost instantaneously. And we can see that we have English print hello world, which is a very basic coding phrase that most people learning learn probably their first time ever. And we can see the comments are in Japanese. Now, can we confirm what these translations mean? Again, if I were to go in here and manually translate this, we could double check that buffer. Simplicity's sake, let's just assume that this is fairly accurate. And now here is ChatGPT4. So right away, they use a different approach with different code. And essentially, it did take them a little bit longer, but it seems to have a similar almost exactly what I was asking in terms of the prompt. So in terms of comparison, I think it just depends on how complicated your actual question is. But so far, Google Bard and ChatGPT can write multi-language comments in different languages and then have whatever your original language, which I put English as the default here too. So, so far that is something they both can do, at least with Japanese. Now, apparently Google has a lot more languages, which I could go in one by one, but for now we're gonna move on to the next stuff. Now, here is a specific question that they put on Google Bard's announcement, and it was a advanced reasoning showcasing the intelligence of the AI. So let's go ahead and actually rewrite this out. And essentially it was saying on a shelf, and let me put this out, there are four cars and they'll have the type of car, so a green car, a, a blue car, an orange car, and a yellow car. So the prompt basically asks the green car is to the left of the yellow car. And then the yellow car is let's put this here is the second from the left and then the blue car is the rightmost and now the question is what is the car order and then we'll say please think step by step so i'll copy this in here hit enter paste this over here, ChatGPT4, going to have to click the button. And now let us go ahead and see the answer. So 
from exactly the Google Palm 2 announcements, they had that the blue car is the rightmost, and then the yellow car, and then the green, and then the orange. Now, apparently here, if I rewrote my thing, we'll see this one is completely different. So we'll see yellow car. So now this one says green, yellow, orange, and blue. So surprisingly, from the actual Google Palm 2 announcement, this green, yellow, orange, blue that ChatGPT wrote was actually the correct answer. But from this particular one, it says blue, green, then yellow, then orange, which I'm surprised it actually didn't give the accurate order. And it was literally from Google Palm's example. So I don't know, again, is Palm 2 even infused yet with Google? We'll have to confirm this again later. But as of right now, with the exact same prompts, ChatGPT has figured out the correct answer. Again, let's give it another question because again, obviously AI, it's not perfect, but let's come up with another question to see how they compare. So here is another complicated question and this is from a CAT permutation practice exam. And essentially these are very difficult questions. So we have here the sum of all possible numbers of four digits formed by digits three, five, five, and six using each digit once is, and I'm not gonna go ahead and I'll just press enter here paste this over here, press enter, still can't have to go in, click. And now let's go ahead and see what the answer showcases here. Now, Google Bard showcases that the sum of all the possible digits of four digits combined is 63327. And now let's go ahead and see what ChatGPT4 ends up giving us. And then I can cross check this with the official answer to see if it's accurate or not. So we can see based off of this right now, ChatGPT4 has a better, at least from visual explanation of what is going on. So now let's go ahead and see. So it says right now, total sum of all numbers form is, wait for the answer, and looks like it's still calculating, 63327, okay, so, they both got the answer. Now let me just double check and make sure this is correct. So I double checked the site, it is correct. And I think from standard comparison, Google Bar did give a faster response, but it was lacking explanation in terms of how it got that answer. And again, I could probably ask it to explain each step more complex. However, just copying exactly, exactly what each of these are, you can see ChatGPT managed to give a much better in-depth explanation for the actual reasonings behind how they got the answer, which so far they are both correct, but ChatGPT is more in debt. And now let's go ahead and see something more recent. So this is something I noticed with Google Bard is that it can apparently access up-to-date information. So let's try this out and see what it can actually do. Let's say, when was Google Palm 2 announced? And we'll go press this here, press enter here and enter here. Now, Google Palm 2 is supposedly, it was May 10th, 2023, which you can see here, Google Palm 2 was announced May 10th, 2023 at their developer conference. Now, ChatGPT4 apparently still can only see up to 2021 of September. So in terms of comparison, if you need relevant up-to-date information that's fairly recent, that usually I would say can be found on Google search, then Google Bar right now has beat ChatGPT in that aspect. Now, let's try another question to compare its levels and see the differences. So one was again, focusing on multi-language translations. So let me say this. Tell me a sentence in a foreign language that, make sure I spell this right, language that could be misunderstood by the local person. And then writes both the English 
translation and the foreign language meaning make sure it's spelled l-a-u-a-g-e meaning copy this here press enter copy this here enter here and let's see so right away uh google bar gave us an almost instantaneous and look at this this is i i can't make this up guys it literally looks like from translation the exact same <laughs> exact same response so okay first off let's just compare google bard says foreign language i'm not feeling well foreign language meaning i'm pregnant number of cultures let's see here does it specify so right away google bard does not specify which foreign language this is however in ChatGPT 4 it actually specifies a language which they put spanish it says estoy embarazada so apparently i'm pregnant and let's see however english speakers learning spanish are the muse the embarazada thinking it means embarrassed and then basically this is the other word for embarrassed which they have the spanish one written and essentially it basically saying you could say you're embarrassed but you're telling someone in spanish you're pregnant so from comparison, it seems like Google Bard did go with a faster response time, but it did not give a specific language, which obviously I didn't specify it, but ChatGPT4 managed to figure that out and then translate that to however it goes. Now, again, these are just some very basic, simple questions to see the current levels of this AI comparison. And as of right now, Google Bard if you need more recent information and you don't need anything i'd say too logical or too complicated with explanations then google bard would make more sense and then i'm sure there's other additional factors you could test out that maybe might make google bard better for you on the other hand ChatGPT 4 it's much better for right now at least in terms of explaining how it came to the actual answer and it specifies certain things even without you needing to go ahead and put the specification for it. So it essentially figures out or at least tries to figure out what you're doing or looking for. Now, which one would you use? Well, another thing to note is ChatGPT4 as of today is currently a paid subscription and costs money. However, Google Bard is free. So you can compare it and say, is that extra monthly payment to ChatGPT4 worth it or rather use Google Bar for free and just ask it a couple more questions. And another thing to note is ChatGPT4 at least currently had a cap or will maybe if they change the update currently of 25 messages every three hours using the actual OpenAI website. Google Bar to my knowledge, I do not know if they have a cap or not, but you can go ahead and try out and testing that and let me know in the comments. But as of right now, it seems like ChatGPT has a cap on the use in terms of how many times you can ask it questions per three hours for GPT-4 and then Bard doesn't have that, at least to my knowledge. So again, which one should you use? Who knows, you could technically use both if you have access to ChatGPT-4 already, but if you don't have ChatGPT-4, then that's something you can make your own decision. But do share your thoughts, which one do you think is better or should you use both? in the comments below and like and subscribe for the latest updates in the AI space.